What's up, guys? Scotty Martin here, just doing a little chilling at the crib. Figured I'd do a little Q&A with you guys. You know, the truth of the matter is Brandon has my truck, and Brandon is in Kansas City, so if you guys live near Kansas City and you see the truck car battle wagon cruising through the town, it is Spinner Worm, and he's on his way. So tomorrow, I'm going to get on a flight in the morning and fly to Minneapolis, where then we drive like another hour down to La Crosse, Wisconsin, and get ready for the tournament that's coming up. And I'm going to do a charity event, the Brian Robinson, with some of the uh, football players from the Minnesota Vikings. It's going to be a lot of fun. So just wanted to give you guys an update, just kind of hang out with you just for a little bit. I'm here at my house, just kind of chilling on my back patio here. It's a beautiful afternoon out here on the patio. We've got some new couches out here, so just kind of come a little peaceful spot. So what's up, guys? What's up? What's up, Corey? What's up? All these guys dropping some comments down below. So appreciate all the support, guys. First of all, let me start off by saying the channel's growing like crazy, and it's because of you guys. Uh, it's because of the support that you guys are giving me. It's because of the shares you guys are doing. It's uh, it's huge, man. So I can't thank you enough for doing all this. So I'm going to jump into a couple questions for you guys that are going to pop up on the screen here. And then I'm also going to jump into a couple fan questions that I get on some of the videos here recently. So we've got some pretty good videos that dropped recently on the channel. So uh, answer a few questions from the fans that dropped some uh, interesting questions. And uh, also want to answer a few questions that you guys are dropping. All right, Traeger Grills. Absolutely love the Traeger Grills. I've got one sitting right over there. I do a lot of cooking on the Traeger Grills. So that's, that's good with some good questions here. Favorite swim jig trailer combination, okay? Favorite swim jig combination. Here's why this little video is gonna be a good one to watch. Cause we're gonna go through some tips and techniques. We're gonna give you some do's and don'ts on some tackle stuff that you'll be able to use all year long. Swim jigs right now are hot. I'm gonna be throwing a lot of swim jigs up on the Mississippi River and lacrosse. And um, trailer wise, I like basically two types of trailers. I like a double tail trailer, like a Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl. If I'm trying to slow the bait down a little bit, keep it up a little shallower, or I'll throw a small swim bait, like a skinny dipper, or just some paddle tail type swim bait, uh, if I'm trying to get the bait down a little bit deeper. Thank you for that $2, man. That's awesome. That's uh, Brandon's fun for sure. Uh, so anyways, two types of trailers basically, either like a uh, some type of swimming type trailer, like an Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl, or some type of single tail Swim bait basically is what I like. And again, the double tail when I'm up shallower and the single tail swim bait when I am uh, trying to get that bait down a little bit deeper. So hopefully that answered your questions. All right. Let's see what else we got. Swim jig color. You know, it just depends on the swim jig color. For me, you have to match the water and you have to match the forage that's going on around you. So... Like lacrosse, the water is not real clear. It's not super clear. So basically, I am going to throw probably more of my green pumpkin colors. I'm going to throw natural colors, watermelon, green pumpkin, stuff like that. Uh, if the water, if the water is up there in the Mississippi, if it gets a little dark, you get some of those main river places where the water starts to get a little muddy. I'm going to throw your black and blues, uh, and that that's about it. You know, uh, sometimes I'll throw white. It just kind of depends. If the fish are feeding on shad, you feel like the fish are feeding on shad. Then you're going to want to throw white colored anything. I don't care if it's a spinner bait, a swim jig, white colored anything when you feel like they're feeding on shad because shad are white. And as my good friend Josh at Black Tip says, everything eats white, right? <laughs> oh, so bluegill. If there's a lot of bluegill in the area, then your natural colors work great. So, all right. Let's see what else we have here. Buzz baits. Actually, I do fish buzz baits. You know, buzz baits are kind of situational. They're more, buzz baits are more for this time of the year, really. You know, it's top water time of the year. Not when that water's cold. I don't like buzz baits when the water's real cold. So I like the buzz baits this time of the year when it starts to warm up, especially during the spawn, even especially when those fish are kind of done spawning their garden fry or the bluegill start spawning buzz baits are good especially early in the morning so buzz baits this time of the year in may april may june buzz baits are good first thing in the morning for sure all right chatter baits i like chatter baits i catch a lot of fish on chatter baits quarter ounce three eighths and occasionally a half 
and I kind of rig up the trailer real similar to what I do on a swimming jig. So, what's up, Ocala, Florida? All right, so the saltwater series, I'm glad you asked that. Somebody just asked, when, when am I going to do a saltwater series? So, we, we do saltwater fishing all the time. I live right here in South Florida, and I spend a lot of time uh, over on the coast in Stewart and down the keys doing a lot of saltwater fishing offshore stuff i love it and so that we'll be switching gears on the channel here soon as soon as the tournament season kind of winds down here in another month and a half you're going to see a lot more saltwater so if you guys aren't into saltwater fishing please don't leave the channel but we're going to have some cool stuff catching 500 pound goliath grouper you know we're going to go sail fishing we're going to do some really cool saltwater adventures what's up kansas all right best frog by far the live target frog and matter of fact and we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna debut this this next week so we're filming like six videos this next week so we're gonna have lots of stuff hit lots of cool stuff hitting the channel but i am designing a frog for live target and it's gonna be bad to the bone matter of fact they're being shipped to me right now shipped to minnesota and we will be doing major frog damage on the mississippi with those frogs so we'll be showing you the frogs i'm going to put some pictures on instagram uh i designed the frog there's lots of really cool features about that frog that i think are gonna really make it one of the best ones to buy so i'm excited about the little frog action all right what's up louisiana akuma reel for a drop shot i mean just any spinning reel really i mean that's the thing with, with drop shots you most of the time you can use a spinning reel but if you watch one of my videos i did with tyler I use just a straight up bait caster with like 12 pound line. So it just depends, you know, if you're fishing heavy cover with a drop shot, like in, I was in Texas fishing those um, submerged trees, I was throwing 12 pound, 10 and 12 pound fluorocarbon is what I was throwing. So, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta figure it out from there. You know, if it's open water, super clear, you know, you're gonna want your eight and 10 pound, you know, line for, uh, for your drop shot. All right. <laughs> best lure for tidal rivers i don't know if there's a best lure for tidal rivers it's just a body of water you got to approach every body of water just like every other body of water so i don't think there's a best lure for tidal waters but for the most part like when i'm on the potomac river i like um chatter baits i like moving baits i like flipping so i don't know how to answer that question i just use it all man no i don't fly fish much you know i did tie a fly one time down in the keys and I caught a tarpon on the fly that I made, which I thought was really cool. So I did, I did do that. All right, what's up, Jack? Fish Lake Texoma, no, I have not. I have not. Sunglasses, it looks, it looks like I got them on right now. I got a pretty wicked sunglass tan for sure. Uh, I've been wearing Costas, I use the black fin. And, and here's the thing on glasses, guys, real important. You, you go to the counter and you're gonna pick out a pair of glasses, right? A, get polarized glasses. Make sure they're polarized. I use Costas. All the Costas are polarized, so you're not going to have a problem there. Now, what color lens do you want to use? What color lens? So you go to the counter and you look at lenses, and some lenses have a gray base, and some lenses have what we call an amber base, right? The I like the amber base personally. It seems to make everything a little bit brighter in the water. I can see better for sight fishing. I don't like a gray base, so if you're buying Costas, buy the green mirror not the blue mirror if you buy a blue mirror costa they're going to be a gray base and that's better for more like saltwater fishing okay so personally personally uh i like the green mirror for sure so all right how much for costas i mean they range anywhere from 150 bucks up to 300 depending on what they are all right all right so here's here's uh here's let's answer a few questions here i got a, i got a couple a couple little deals here from some fans. All right, so one of the things, I thought somebody was coming in on me, getting jumped. So we did a video, we did a video where I took Brandon to uh, to the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid in, in Nashville. And as we were driving there, I believe that was that video, um, I had the phone in my hand driving, which is not cool. So. Anthony Hopkins, he put a comment on that video. It says, sorry for the thumbs down. So I got a thumb down on the video. Uh, he normally gives me all thumbs up. But he was, uh, he, he was actually disappointed that I had the phone in my hand. So do not do that, guys. It was a bad idea. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to be doing any looking at my phone, filming, and doing all that crazy stuff. So do not do that. So if you didn't like that, 
I agree. It was dumb. It was dumb. So another one uh, comment came in two days ago. The video, the live video, the last live video we did, uh, we did here in Cluiston. I took my kids out fishing, a couple of them, and the wind was horrific. So I ordered some mics and I ordered some windscreens for our live situation. So hopefully our next live situation is going to be really good when we're out. Well, obviously this is live, but when we're out on the water on a windy day, the live is going to sound so much better because of those mics for sure. So, all right. All right. Here's one. Here's one. Somebody says, does anybody, uh, JCD Outdoors, does anybody know what watch is on Scott's wrist? That's the Garmin watch. I think this one's a Felix. They got a brand new one that just launched, I think yesterday. Some kind of Quantix 5 or something. I don't know. They haven't, they haven't sent me one yet, so I'm anxious to get it. But I will say I'm digging the Garmin watch. It's very comfortable. You know, I wear, uh, I wear this one and I have a red one, a red band one as well. Waterproof. You know, they're good, good stuff. And they have barometric pressure on them. They have, uh, they keep track of a little bit of exercise and stuff like that, which is cool. So thanks for that comment. All right, so here's a question that I get all the time, and I've even seen it pop up on the screen today. A lot of people ask me, do I have any plans fishing the Elite Tour? And, you know, here's, here's my goals right now. My goals right now are to continue to make great videos for you guys. Uh, continue to do TV like we're doing the Scott Martin Challenge. We're filming some good episodes even this next week, actually, or two weeks from now. And do, the, do as good as I can on the FLW Tour. My dream would be to fish the Bassmasters Classic and win the Bassmasters Classic because that is something of all the accomplishments, accomplishments my father's had, that's one of the ones that, um, that he did not get. And that was winning the Bassmasters Classic. So I'm fishing the Southern Opens right now. And if I win one of the Southern Opens or I win one of the Opens of any sort, I'll get a chance to fish the Bassmasters Classic. And then my goal would be to win that tournament. So fishing the Elites, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's in my cards right now. I don't know if I want to do that. But, you know, FLW is a great place. I've made a great living over there. They're great people. Um, FLW provides a great opportunity for all the anglers that fish the tour and, uh, and and Bass does too. Bass does a great job. So we're in a really neat spot right now in our sport because there's so much growth. So for right now, I'm, I'm good with FLW. I'm going to stick over there for now and uh, again, fish these opens in hopes of uh, winning one of them and going to the Classic and uh, winning one for old Pops here. So thanks for that question. Hopefully that answered a couple of them. All right, so we did a video, one of the first videos that we did on my channel uh, when we got this thing really rocking is I did one with Lake Fork Guy, I did one with um, Outlaw, did one with John Cox. We did this one, we called it Team Redneck Challenge, and that was actually a really funny episode. So Midway312 asked me, will there be another Redneck versus Team Ridiculous Redemption ch uh, Challenge or show this year? That would be a great idea. So I just have to get a hold of Outlaw, see if we can get them down here. Or maybe we'll do it some other place. We don't have to do it here in Florida. But definitely another one of those shows would be great. Because anytime I can fish against Josh, <laughs> that's a good challenge. Because he usually gets uh, a little wound up, if you know what I mean. All right, so I keep seeing questions pop across the screen. When am I going to do a challenge with KVD? Whenever. I would love to. So, you know, now that we've got the YouTube channel going pretty good, I think uh, I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be a lot of fun to fish against KVD, fish against him, and I think it'd even be more cool to beat him. So we'll see what happens. You know, he's an unbelievable fisherman, obviously. So it'd be really awesome if I could beat him. Just I think it'd be a great episode at the very least. So maybe we can do that. What's up, man? Some dude just dropped another two bucks. Man, thank you. Catch snakes on my channel. Do I like snakes? No, dude. I do. I'm sorry, bro. I don't like snakes, man. No snakes for me. No snakes for me. All right, getting close to the end here. Let's see if I got another. I think I got another question here. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, well that's about it on the fan questions. But uh, but again, I'm gonna take off in the morning, and it's Brandon's birthday today, by the way. Today, right now, it's Brandon's birthday. So if you guys don't mind, drop some comments below and tell Spinnerworm 
the best truck driver in the world, happy birthday, because it's his birthday today. But I hope he doesn't celebrate too late tonight up in Kansas City, because he has to pick me up tomorrow at noon. And, uh, and here's what we're going to do. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to film the travel part, airport, and all the craziness there, getting there in the truck with Brandon. And then I'm going to take Brandon fishing. We're going to run right over to the Mississippi River, launch the boat tomorrow, I don't know, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and run out there. And we're going to do a little show with Brandon. And he's going to fish with some weird lures. We're going to get him to invent some new techniques and some new names for some new lures. And so I think that show is going to be uh, hilarious. I think it's going to be hilarious. And then on Friday, we're going to be doing another one up there with a guy named Cade. It's going to be a lot of fun. Then I'm going to film the Brian Robinson tournament. Then we're going to film the tournament itself and the, the tournament days. And uh, so we got a lot of cool stuff coming down the road. KVD versus, oh man, KVD versus me. Who do you think will win, guys? Huh? All right. Me and Rob are brothers. <laughs> That's funny. I always get that comment too. Uh, no, we're not brothers, but he's a great guy. I'll tell you another, another question I get on Instagram a lot, guys, is they want to know, uh, is Brandon related to me? So Brandon is not related to me. I met Brandon like three or four years ago. And... Um, Saw they had a lot of talent, and it worked out for me to um, get him down here and get him to hang out a little bit. So I think he's enjoying traveling around, getting to see all the cool stuff, and uh, and that's good. Come to Mobile. Who's that? Let's see who this guy is right here. I'll tell you, Mason Lappin. All right, Mason, I might come to Mobile actually, because that actually is where I won my very first FLW tournament back in 2000. Okay, that's a long time ago. $125,000 actually won that in Mobile Bay right under I-10 right under the bridge so you probably know where I'm talking about Caddo Lake I fished there as well it's pretty good stuff look behind you Ooh, is there somebody behind me <laughs> all right guys let me uh show you around here actually this is my little patio area you've seen me do some some little cooking episodes right over here in my little kitchen so I've got my Got this big old wolf grill here. It's my gas grill, I don't really use it anymore. Here's one of the Traegers. This is one of the little Traegers I carry with me on the road. Pretty cool. So, got my little outdoor kitchen. This is where we some, do some cooking. Watch a little TV. And um, there's a little table there. We eat dinner out here a lot or host little parties. Got my little, I like to come out here in the mornings and drink coffee. That's right, this is my little coffee spot right here. Yeah, oh, and that's my, that little hammock out there. That's not my coffee spot. That's my, that's my little take a nap spot. All right, and we have a pool, nice little pool there. And uh, I think the best part about living here in Cloiston, where I live, is we got like a thousand acres back there. I don't know what it is, it might be 500, but it's a lot. So we ride the Polaris and stuff back there. We actually have hogs, believe it or not, hogs, wild hogs come into this area and they, up, they actually uprooted my neighbor's yard really bad, like a couple months ago. We actually caught the hogs. We made a pen and caught the hogs. So, all right, so that's my little tour of my little patio area here. And uh, there's my little couch spot up there. Good stuff, guys. So, anyway, just show you, show you around a little bit. All right, so, yeah, jump in. Well, we ought to do some of those challenges, right? Loser has to jump in. All right, guys, I've done enough rambling. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me a little bit. Like I said, I just wanted to say hi, see what's up, tell you a few things, answer a few questions, and uh, just hang out with you guys. So I appreciate, again, all the support. And uh, we've got lots of cool stuff coming down the pipe this next week. Probably some of the best stuff yet of the year. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the comments, all the support. We'll see ya. I'm out.